Well, Alan, while a sentence has been handed down and a precedent-setting sentence at that, the Chisulo family says there will never be any justice, forever scarred by the immense loss caused by the reckless indifference of a driver who should never have been behind the wheel of a car. It was Russian roulette that day when he got behind the wheel. It was happened to be our family. Connie Chisulo's brother, Michael, was surrounded and supported by family and friends. When Brady Robertson, the 21-year-old Caledon man who drove impaired and at high speeds, destroying Chisulo's family, was sentenced to 17 years in prison and given a 20-year driving ban. As much as Canada is a great country, I am beyond disgusted with the justice system that someone who takes away four lives gets so little time. On June 18th, 2020, 37-year-old Carolina Chisulo and the couple's three children, six-year-old Clara, four-year-old Liliana, and one-year-old Mila Chisulo, were driving northbound around the noon hour in the family's white Volkswagen Atlas at the intersection of Countryside Drive and Torbrum Road when Brady Robertson ran a red light, smashing his Infinity sports car into the Chisulo's SUV. Robertson was found guilty of four counts of impaired driving, causing death, having eight times the legal limit of THC in his blood, and pleaded guilty to four counts of dangerous driving, causing death. He was traveling at nearly twice the speed limit at the time of the crash, and for 2.6 kilometers prior, was trying to evade police, though the pursuit had been called off. Having already spent 694 days in custody, the judge gave Robertson one and a half days credit for every day served, or the equivalent of 34 months, the sentence remaining 14 years and two months. 14 year sentence, what, though it was a precedent setting sentence, it's still a slap in the face. It's three and a half years per life taken. Also in the courtroom, Jennifer Neville Lake, whose three children and father were killed by impaired driver Marco Muzzo in 2015. Muzzo was sentenced to 10 years in prison. But unlike Marco Muzzo, her honor noted that Robertson had a suspended license, did not have a license plate, and had a vehicle that was unregistered. He had 15 Highway Traffic Act convictions in the two years prior to the crash, and just two days earlier was involved in a collision in Caledon, for which he tried to evade responsibility. The judge told the court, the danger created by Mr. Robertson on both June 16 and 18 is not unlike that created by a person who takes control of a different weapon and walks down a busy street firing a handgun at random. Jennifer Neville Lake, who knew Carolina Chisulo and wrote a victim impact statement, was encouraged by the sentence given to Robertson. It's, it's good to see that the courts are finally using, the judges using the powers, the sentencing that they're able to use. It's a step in the right direction. And the judge agreed with the Crown when it said that these penalties for uh, things like dangerous driving causing death were meant to be increased when in 2018 new legislation around Bill C-46 was introduced. The judge hoping that this will deter others and hold Robertson accountable for this senseless loss of life.